In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to create this 3D parallax using a 2D image. If you want to download the image and follow along, I'll leave a link in the description. Let's start off by separating each element into its own layers. The astronaut and the rock right here will be layer one. The rock right here will be layer number two. And the background will be layer number three. Let's go to the left and let's go ahead and select the object selection and we're going to select the astronaut like that let's zoom in and see if everything is good so i can see there's some parts right there so let's go here select the quick selection make sure the plus is selected and let's go ahead and uh, select that and i'm just going around the image make sure that everything is good One problem I see is the wire right there, but you can easily select that with the lasso tool. So I'm just going to make a copy. I'm going to do control J and you can see the astronaut is on its own layer. Now let's go ahead and zoom in. And to select that, let's go ahead and go here to the lasso tool, further add one. Just go ahead and uh, select it like that. Double click. Go down to the background. Let's do a control J. That should make a copy. You can see that's that. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and delete that. Same thing, you use the lasso, feather at one. And let's so go ahead and hit delete. I'll make sure that one's selected. Hit delete, control D to deselect. And the same thing here to delete that. L for the lasso. Let's go ahead and uh, select it like that. Hit delete, control D to select. And let's go ahead and select the two. So I'm hold shift, control E to merge it. And let's go ahead and name the layer, name that astronaut, and let's bring back the background. Let's go here to the quick selection, bring the size of the brush up. To get rid of that, let's go here to the minus sign. And don't worry about that. We're going to do the same thing with the lasso tool. So I'm just going to make a copy. Control J. You can see we have that. And I'm going to go here to the lasso tool. Same thing. Double click that. Select the background. Control J to make a copy. And you can see it's right there. So I'm just going to merge all three. So I'm going to select all three. Control E. Now let's bring back the background, hold control, select the astronaut, it will make a selection around it. Go to select, modify, click on expand, let's do about 7 pixel, click OK. I'm going to disable this, select the background, go to edit, generate a fill, click on generate, and it should remove the astronaut and the rock right there. So here it gave us three options. So I'm gonna see which one I like the best. I think I like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of the background. So I'm gonna do Control J, hold Shift, select the generated fill, Control E to merge it. The reason why I saved the background just in case we mess up, we have something to come back to. So now let's go here. Same thing, let's go to the quick selection, make sure that's plus, and select the rock like that. Zoom in, bring the size of the brush down. Again, you could go here. And let's go ahead and make a copy. Let's do control J. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and name that rock. Number two. Same thing. Control, select that. We'll make a selection. Select, modify, expand. Let's do seven. Disable that. Select the generated fill. Edit. Generated fill. Now it's going to remove that. Again, it will give you three different options. Pick the one you like the best. Things are all the same to me. I think I like this one better though. So I'm going to go ahead and merge it. Hold shift. Select that. Control E. And just name that sky. So now we have the sky. Rock number two. The astronaut and the rock number one. And let's go ahead and save this to our desktop. Then we're going to bring it into After Effects and do the parallax animation. All right, so once you have After Effects open, go to the Project panel. If you don't see it, just go to Window. Make sure that's checked right there. Now let's go ahead and double click this. Go to the desktop where you save the PSD. So let's go ahead and open that. Make sure you have this checked, Edible Layer Styles. Click OK. Now when you double click the composition, and I'm bring this down like that. Make sure it's like the fit. And I'm changing this about to half. So you can see we have our sky, rock number two, and the astronaut. So the background we don't really need it, but it's there for the PSD. Now let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and right click, click on new camera two node. And you just copy all the setting here, 36, all of that. Just click OK. And just until you turn your 2D layer into 3D, just click OK. Go down here, toggle the switch. So go ahead and select the 3D, like that. Now right, I just select all three. Hit P for position. And let's just select all that. Select the sky. And let's push the sky about 2000. So now we're pushing it back into 3D space. So we select the top view. So here's the camera right here. And it's the astronaut right there. The rock still right there. We haven't moved it in the sky. We push it all the way back in the 3D space. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going back to the active camera. And select fit so we can see it. Since we push it back about 2000, select the uh, S for scale. And we're gonna bring it up to fill up the whole screen. So let's do about 170. 171. All right, I think that's good. And for the rock, probably do. Um, I'm thinking 500 or maybe 750. Let's try 750. Hit S for scale. Same thing. Bring the size of this up. About right there. Hit P again. And bring it down. Right there. So now when we select the camera and go here. You can see the parallax is already working just click on do so the way i like to do this is have it zoomed in to the subject so i'm just going here and select p create a keyframe and let's go ahead and um create a keyframe for the point of interest so i'm just go here maybe Let's try 10 second. Let's see um how that looked. So in the beginning, we're gonna zoom in. So we're gonna select this one. And let's go to the backpack. Zoom in like that. Alright, so I think I'm gonna move it above the astronaut. So kind of like this. Select that, zoom it in just a little bit. Now when you zoom in out, yeah, I like that. All 
No, I think that looks good. I'm going to select the two keyframe, right click, click on Easy Ease. All right, I like that. So that's how you create the 3D parallax using a 2D image. If you like this tutorial, make sure you check out my other one.